All right, this is Mr. Jern, and I'm going to talk to you about Sokatoa today. Uh, keep in mind that Sokatoa only applies to right triangles. And so if you're looking at a right triangle, uh, there's a couple things you need to know. Uh, first of all, there's going to be a 90 degree angle, but we're going to ignore that except to use it as a reference point to A, know it's a right triangle, and to B, know that the hypotenuse is on the opposite side of that right angle. And the hypotenuse is going to be always be the largest side of a right triangle, and it's always going to be on the opposite side of that uh, right angle. Okay, the other parts to know about a right triangle are the, well, I mean, depending on where the angle is, this theta, it's a Greek letter theta, that's going to be the angle that we're going to be looking at, worried about. Okay, it'll be usually marked or you'll have to mark it, but basically there can be one theta and one unknown angle or just one we're not really caring about at the time. Uh, next to this theta, besides the hypotenuse, which is the longest side, is going to be your adjacent side. Adjacent just means next to. And then on the opposite side of the triangle from that theta is, of course, your opposite side. So how does that help us? Well, basically, we can use that. And, and with the as long as we got that all established, we could use SOKATOA. And SOKATOA is just, they're just acronyms, and they stand for uh, sine of the theta, so sine of the angle, is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. That's your SOH, so. Then you got CAH, CA, which is the cosine of the theta, um, it, it over, is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then you've got your t TOA, tangent of the angle, is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, okay? And something to keep in mind is that basically um, <clears throat> uh, when you're looking at your calculator, these are buttons on your calculator. So uh, I've got my calculator over here. So here's my sine, cosine, and tangent right here. Okay. So just little things to keep in mind that, uh, that these are buttons on the calculator. Now, this is a Texas Instrument calculator, and they're all pretty similar. There's other types of calculators, and you might need to locate sine, cosine, and tangent. Um, one little thing I will note is that you need to make sure while we're doing this that you're in degree mode. For a scientific calculator like this, um, typically you had to go into mode. You click on mode, and then you had to just double check that uh, degrees is selected. Okay, there's a couple ways to do that, and depending on your calculator, you, you might need to ask me or somebody else for help. So just make sure you are in degree mode for this. Okay, very, very important. All right, and now, uh, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you just some examples of how to use this. And um, Basically, we've got a couple triangles here, and they're right triangles, and so we can use this. Um, we've got our first triangle, and our theta, our angle, is 32. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down uh, my known is theta is 32 degrees. Um, and then before I go any further, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark down, this is my adjacent, because it's right next to the 32. This is my hypotenuse, the longest side. And this is my opposite side. I'm going to put a little P there just to remind me that's not a zero. So my knowns, besides the theta, is going to be my adjacent side, which is, in this case, 30, no units or anything like that. I'm going to start with the opposite side as my unknown. I want to find that first. So I'm going to put that as the first question mark. And so now, how do I do this? Well, I look at my SOKATOA, and I decide, all right, what of those three equations has theta, the angle, the adjacent side, and the opposite side, A and O? It's not gonna be this one. This one has the angle and it has O, but it has no A. This one has A and the theta, but it has hypotenuse, H. This one has theta, O, and A, so this is gonna be my winner here. This is gonna be what I'm gonna to use to actually do the equation. So I'm gonna write down my equation that I chose, tangent of theta, is opposite over adjacent. Okay, gonna P there just to kind of remind myself. And now I'm trying to find for the opposite side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to, I'm just gonna do a little algebra here and get opposite by itself. Um, I'm gonna get that A out of there and because it's being divided, I'm gonna do the opposite of that, which is 
multiplication, and then whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So then I end up getting with A, the adjacent times the tangent of theta is equal to the opposite side. And if I substitute those numbers, that means A, which is 30 times tangent. Uh, oh, I almost wrote the, I almost wrote theta again. So watch out for that. I'm actually substituting right now times 32 degrees will be equal to my opposite side. And when I put that in the calculator, so I'm just gonna type it just like that. So I'm gonna type 32. I could, I could put the times I'm going to just because times the tangent. If I wanted to use the uh, parentheses, that would work out just as well. Times 32. And I get my answer is 19.99. In other words, we're just gonna round that to 20, the opposite side here is 20 so i'm going to go ahead and write that right there okay and put a box around that if i like for my final answer there um good so now what well let's get that hypotenuse so i'm just going to add another line here h i've already listed my knowns my unknowns uh now in this case let's put separate that out a bit <clears throat> we do have our opposite side now but I'm going to recommend against using calculated sides or calculated answers if you can help it. All right, we still have our, our uh, theta, we still have our adjacent. So in other words, if we can use theta and adjacent to find the hypotenuse, that would be ideal. So we could use this one, but like I said, our O has been calculated. And what if we're wrong? Or what if we rounded too much there? Um, so let's go on to the next one. This one looks like it's going to be helpful because we have our A and we're trying to find H. And so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to choose uh, cosine of theta is A over H. Okay. Now what we're trying to find is H. So I want to try to get that by itself. Uh, so I'm going to multiply both sides by H, which will cancel it out over there. Um, but H is still not by itself. And so I had to actually also divide by cosine of theta. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. And so my mm, final version of this equation is going to be h is equal to a over cosine of theta. Okay. And now I could just substitute and solve. So I'm going to substitute. I'm going to, uh, let me just draw a little line here. Uh, h is what I'm trying to find. A is 30 divided by cosine of 32 degrees and then so h my hypotenuse i'm going to put that in my calculator just like i did before so i'm going to type in uh here i'm going to type in 30 okay divided by the cosine of 32 and that should look just that should look pretty good like just like that and when i hit enter uh, just so you know, the calculator will treat cosine 32 all as one thing. You could put parentheses around it. It won't hurt at all. So um, my final answer is 35.37. So let's, let's say 35.4. So uh, 35.4. I'll put a box around that because it is my final answer. 35.4. Okay. So the trick again is just to identify the knowns or the givens, figure out what your unknown is going to be that you're going to solve for, and then choose the equation that uses those variables. Now, I'm not going to do this whole next one here, but this next one is the same idea. It's a little bit different, though, because my theta is up here. My hypotenuse is still going to be over here. It's the longest side, and it's on the opposite side of the hypotenuse, or the, the right angle. But that means now, because my theta is up at the at the top, my opposite side is going to be down here, and my adjacent side will be here. So just be careful that you have to identify the adjacent and opposite sides based on where the theta is, okay? And it could change. It, like you just saw, it's different. So that's essentially how you use Sokatoa to find the different sides. Now, you could also, by the way, 
there's other ways to do it. Math is great because there's so many different ways that you can do something that's correct. Once you found the 20 and the 30, couldn't you use the Pythagorean theorem to do to find 35.4? Of course you could. Okay, we're just, but we're practicing using Sokatoa, so I wanted to continue using Sokatoa. In fact, go ahead and try it out. Uh, 20 squared plus 30 squared is going to be equal to 35.4 squared, or pretty close because we did round a little bit. Okay, so try it out. You'll find that it is a good check for this. Okay, same thing with all the triangles. You could always use other math to check your work. Okay, what I want to show you next is to solving to solve for the theta. What if you're given a couple sides? This is actually much more straightforward. You still have to do a couple things. You still have to identify the the, the side. So I'm going to write this my hypotenuse. Here's my theta over here. So that means this is my adjacent side, and this is my opposite side. <clears throat> okay, so. <coughs> excuse me just like last time we have to look and see what are we given we 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 have these uh these variables so let's actually just make our list like we normally do um in this case the opposite side we know is two the adjacent side is five and now we don't know hypotenuse so we're not going to worry about that um but we should have enough to find theta okay so the opposite is two, the adjacent side. So we have an opposite and adjacent. What that means is we're going to end up using the inverse, ta the, the, the tangent one, because those equations here are just rearranged versions of the, the ones that we saw, you know, just a minute ago. Uh, they're just, instead of solving for one of the sides, we're solving for one of the angles, or the angle, the angle that we have identified. And it's the same idea. We have A and we have opposite, uh, adjacent and opposite. We're trying to find the theta. This has opposite and hypotenuse, not going to help us. Adjacent and hypotenuse, not going to help us. Opposite and adjacent, going to help us. So I'm going to choose that one. Theta is equal to t inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. I'm going to substitute pretty straightforward there's not even any rearranging that's nice very nice opposite is two it should be a little more clear here that's opposite divided by the adjacent which is five and my theta now watch this <clears throat> I'm gonna put in the calculator okay and when I do that uh, let's see I'm looking for the inverse tangent button and it might be a little small on the screen, but here's the tangent. And in yellow on my calculator is inverse tangent. It's another button. It's another function. Okay. If you try to hit tangent and then the inverse button, you're going to, I nice to help you, help you turn it out. If you hit the tangent and the inverse button, see, in my calculator, it just looks funny and you're going to get an error. Okay. So it's actually a button in and of itself, a function on the calculator. So because it's yellow, for me, I had to hit the yellow button, the second button, and I hit second tan to get the inverse tangent. And now on the screen, you can see there it is. It looks a little bit nicer, a little bit like, like it's gonna do something. I'm gonna hit just two divided by five. And again, I'm in, I'm in decimals, um, not, not decimals, I'm in degrees, not radius. Not, I'm getting this all wrong. Make sure you're in degrees and not radians so that you get the right answer, in this case, 21.8 degrees. So 21.8 degrees is my final answer, and 21.8 uh, degrees would be my answer there, okay? Uh, the next question uh, on my little list here, I'm not gonna do the whole thing once again, but in this case, again, my we have our opposite side, we have our hypotenuse. We are not given our adjacent side this time. So for this one, you would do the same thing, for the steps, you would identify which equation to use. I'm gonna tell you in like one second, you figure it out first though. So we have O and H. So yeah, we would end up using the, the first one, the, inver the inverse sign. So once again, that's it. Um, <clears throat> there's not much to it but just identify what the variables are and then choose one of the three equations um, and that's if you have any questions just let me know or ask somebody have a good day